fellow nacho hunters. Okay, so the title kind of says it all. Um, yeah, you suck. Uh, so let me tell you how we got there. Uh, La Hacienda. I have passed this place a whole bunch of times. It is on Laurel Street in San Carlos, California. And it always looks like one of those little cool little local joints to go to. So we venture in. Ambiance. Uh, well, <laughs> it's not all that great inside. It's small. It's not particularly nice. It's not like, uh, you know, my favorite place, uh, Charlie's over on the same tail. But uh, it does have a little outside space, and that's kind of a plus. Um, it sits in that area of, gee, I kind of wish it was a little nicer. Um, but it'll do because I'm really hungry. So service, um, wow, yeah, well below par. Um, in fact, if you consider that this is San Carlos, it's on the peninsula, it's an affluent area, you would kind of expect a, a little bit better there. Um, no chit chat, didn't ask me if I wanted my uh, peppers on my nachos and not even a smile, it's just like, oh, okay, you want like nachos, look, okay, okay, later I'll, I'll get your food. Um, so that was kind of a letdown. So we're like kind of two strikes already. And then you get to see, oh God, what do we call it? The mess on the plate. Um, yellow flags start going off, a couple red flags. And I'm like, what the hell am I looking at? I mean, this is not much for nachos. But hey, um, you know, in all fairness, you're supposed to just go in and review these just the way you would if uh, anybody else had walked in and got themselves some nachos. Ah, uh, oh boy. So let's get into taste. Um, you know what it's like to have that taste in your mouth uh, just after you puked, drinking way too much tequila? Yeah, this is a close second. Um, the chips, uh, borderline stale, wouldn't uh, hold up to all the liquid, uh, way too many beans, just a big mess of beans on there, the, the meat had no flavor, uh, there just wasn't any real garnish or anything on it, it's just, it was so blah, I mean, just getting through some of it was you know, a, a big, big effort. Um, so, I, I don't even want to get into it. I mean, it, it, they tasted like shit. <laughs> yes, if you want some shit nachos uh, that are going to taste, uh, God, they'd be better after you ate them. Uh, if that reference even comes close to, all right, never mind. So they suck. Um, the Coke was the best part about it, because uh, it came out of a can. Um, thank God. And then there's the value. Um, if these were 50% off special, I'd say save your money. Uh, if they were free, I would still not eat them. Um, I would avoid this place at all costs. I wouldn't go there if you paid uh, I feel bad enough that I paid anything to sit down and eat this horrible plate of, of I, I will not call them nachos. They weren't. I don't know what it was. This was just vomit on a plate. Yeah, that's all it was. So um, nacho hunters, uh, here you go. Uh, every once in a while, you get a complete bomb. Uh, Till next week. Thank you again for viewing The Nacho Hunter. If you would like to share your nacho adventures, please click the subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Pinterest. Have a great day!